program a PLC from an EEPROM chip. The first thing you need to do is take an electric screwdriver and pop out the EEPROM cover and replace it with your EEPROM chip. Make sure it snaps securely in. And then switch the control box to monitor. Okay. You're going to press OK and Escape to bring up your menu. And if it is in run mode, you need to stop it uh, by pressing OK. But we are in stop here. So I'm going to scroll down to Others. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom. It should say Program Transfer. Put OK on that. And we're wanting to program the PLC from the cassette, so the cassette arrow pointed away from the cassette. We want to make it start flashing by pressing the down arrow and then hit OK. OK again. Transferring the program. We'll hit OK. We'll go back into program transfer. We'll click on verify, click OK, Play again, verify completed, and hit OK, escape, and at this time power off your control box and remove the chip. And replace the cover, then power back on the monitor mode. Okay, hit OK and escape. Again, bring up your uh, menu. Go. Okay, go all the way to the top of the menu where it says run. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Okay, now you should be running. Uh, you need to hit the left arrow five times. This will set all your default settings. Um, make sure your PB on is between 450 and 425. Your fill level, depending on what size traffic you have, um, you have to check your hard sets and your manual for that to find out the, what fill level you should be set at. And your bulk critical set should be 150. And hold the OK button, the minus button to clear out all your air codes. And you should be good to go.